There are lots of videos on YouTube explaining how to flip text in Canva, but almost all of them tell you to download your images, which is tedious and time consuming. Today I'll show you a faster method that doesn't require any downloading. So let's jump in. What's up guys, it's Trent, and today we're talking about how to flip and mirror your text in Canva. Now this is something that's really easy to do with images, but it's not that straightforward to do with text. So first let me just show you what we do with an image. I'll just switch over to my document here. It's 20 inches by 10 inches, but the format doesn't really matter. So let's find some image element to add to my design. I'll search for cartoon, and maybe I'll add this tiger here. Now when we have an image selected, it's very easy to flip and rotate it because we have these options here that say flip. So I'll click flip, and I can flip it horizontal, and I can also flip it vertical. And of course I can do both at the same time. So using this menu is quite easy with an image. Now let's add some text. So I'll go to text, I'll click add a text box, Let's make it bigger. I'll give it some words here. I'll change the font. And maybe I'll give it a little color here. Now the problem with text is that when we select it, we don't have those options to flip anymore. The closest we have is this option to rotate, which is this handle here. So I can flip my text upside down, but still it's not technically mirroring my text. Okay, so let me now show you the method where we can actually mirror this text and it doesn't require any downloading. So I'll make this text big just so we get nice resolution here. And now what you want to do is click this share button up here. So I'll click share. And now you want to click more. This is an option down at the bottom. So I'll click more. And now click copy to clipboard. It's this option right here. So I'll click that, copy to clipboard. And then make sure you click this copy to clipboard button here again. So I'll click that. You'll see an animation go through. And now my page has been copied to my clipboard. So I'll click out of this. And now what I can do is I can paste this page back into my document. So I'll right click and I'll say paste. And the first time you do it, you may have to allow this on your browser. So I'll click allow. I'm in Google Chrome right now. And our text has been pasted here. Now I say text, but technically this is actually pasted as an image. So it's not text anymore, it's an image. But the cool thing about having it as an image is we have access to this flip option now. So I can click flip and I can flip it horizontal or I can flip it vertical. If we just flip it vertical, we actually have mirrored text here. What I can do is I can take this image, align it to the corner, and if I make it as big as the document itself, that text is now actually the same size as my original text. So I can drag it up and it's the mirror image of it. I click the opacity, I can dial down the transparency. So we were able to flip the text easily without any downloading. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when we paste this image, it's going to have the background, even if the background is white. I made the background purple here to show you the example. Let me show you what I mean and then we'll look at how to fix this problem. So once again, I'll do my method. I'll click share, more. Copy to clipboard, copy to clipboard, click off. Now you can right click and choose paste or you can just press control V. I'll just press paste here. So I have this good times text here. Now watch what happens if I change the background of my document. So I'll click on my document over here. Let's make it green. Now you can see the problem here. The background of the image I pasted is still purple. Well, there's actually a really easy way to get around that. With my image selected here, I'll click edit image and I'll click BG remover. So I'll click this and in a few seconds, the background is removed. So now my image text is actually transparent. If I bring it to the front, say position to front, you can see it's transparent here. Now, one thing you'll notice if I zoom in is there's a little bit of a color fringe there. Let me show you one more method that's a little bit cleaner. I'll delete this text. If you just want the text by itself, what I recommend is adding another page. Make that background white. Then I'll copy and paste this text down here. So I'll paste. Now I'll do my method again. So I'll go to share, more, copy to clipboard. Now make sure you're selecting page two. This is our white page with the text on it. I'll say copy to clipboard. I'll close. Now I'll go back up here and I'll paste it in. Now we'll get rid of the background in the same way. I'll click edit image, background remover, and it takes out the background. Now it looks pretty similar, but if I bring it over the original text, you'll see we don't get those color fringes anymore. The background remover does a much better job when the background is pure white and not some other color. Now, by the way, one quick bonus tip I'll give you if you want to change the color of your image text here. Select your image text here, so I have it selected. Click Edit Image over here, then click Adjust. And this gives us the controls for our image here. If I scroll down, you can find an option that says Color Edit, so I'll click on this. And now what I can do is I can change the hue here with this slider, so I'll drag that around. And I can actually change the color of my text image there. You can also change saturation and brightness. So that's how you can change the color of your text image. Be sure to check out my Canva playlist for more Canva tutorials. And if you have any topics you'd like to see covered, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.